back off from uh, beautiful Greece. Greece was short lived. We were only there for like three weeks. Now we are heading over to Sicily. It's, it's like 8 o'clock at night, and where we're going, it's about 180 miles. And so we're gonna sail through the night tonight and then arrive sometime tomorrow afternoon. So it should be a beautiful sail, sailing the whole way. Great wind uh, forecasted, so um, it should be perfect. We've been cruising at uh, about eight knots uh, the past like two hours. Ago. It's been great so far. Beautiful, have a full moon tonight. Sun setting, amazing. So happy to have Zach here with us. Yay, Zach! See if there's a green flash tonight. Well, we've had a uneventful night. It's now it's close to 7 a.m. and we're cruising going like 10 knots and the seas have picked up pretty bad and it's not called to be this uh, bad. The waves were supposed to be this high, which is what the prediction said, but uh, with longer period in between. Um, so it's uh, kind of uncomfortable. Ruby just uh, threw up, so I feel bad about that. Anyway, it might be for a long day. Right now, we're scheduled to get in about 3 o'clock to Italy, so uh, we'll see. It's not uh, always beautiful rainbow days, and, uh, but that's what makes the adventure what it is. Lion. Thank you, Italy, for the nice, warm welcome. Wild sail. The most of today, starting at about I guess eight, and now it's uh, what, almost three. It. Uh, it is just crazy. So we are glad to almost be the port. Uh, getting rocked to death. Alrighty, it's official. We're in Italy. I wish I could remember where we were at. Um, anyway, we are just we're gonna go on a, it should be a beautiful sail today. The wind has shifted and we're just gonna go, what, southwest, about 50, 60 miles, we're not really sure. And find a place to anchor for the night and go to church. Let's see, what day is it? Is it Friday or Thursday? Today's Saturday? Holy cow, Saturday. This week is gone. Okay, so that gives me two options of where we can go to church and then, uh, We'll continue on over to Sicily. So we're excited to be able to check out Sicily for a little bit. About seven days, our uh, friend Hervé from Le Grand Mont, France, he will be with us uh, to help us get over to uh, Gibraltar. So we're just kind of slowly making our way to the west side of Italy, or sorry, of Sicily. Funny how one day you have 30 knots right here. Complete horrendous seas, and now it's just perfect. Zach has the kids out there slaying the windows. Look at all these seized boats. This is nuts. We came through here in, I believe, March or May, May, and it, yeah, it must have been May, uh, middle of May, and there weren't hardly any boats, but they're all seized boats um, from people escaping Libya. Super sad. So we uh, we asked our at the marina. We asked where to go for dinner. I told him we just wanted to go to the old town, whatever. And he sent us to like the nicest restaurant in the area. It's a 19. A and we're very, yeah, there's a it's wedding a going on over. And we're very underdressed. <laughs> just rolled off the boat. And these people are serious. Anyway. 
I feel bad. <laughs> Last night was awesome. The uh, dinner, what did you read, Gina? Oh, it's a Michelin star restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I saw all the awards on the wall when we went to the restroom after dinner. It was pretty good. Um, a little fishy. Yeah, I was surprised how... It's a seafood restaurant. Yeah. And the seafood didn't... It, it was okay. It was... I guess it's because... Anyway, it wasn't the as setting, fresh as we were expecting. Yeah, the setting yeah. of the presentation was incredible. The food was a-okay, so, but it was fun to, yeah, the pasta was good, huh? Yeah, it's so, in Italy. Yeah? Yeah. Anyway, Pastas are always good in Italy. We're uh, just on our way to church. It's like an hour and a half uh, taxi ride to get up to, we passed it yesterday on our boat, but we're trying to get our boat to Sicily as quick as we can, so we decided to just... Anyway, there was, and there wasn't a great place to anchor or a harbor, so we decided to pass it. And now we're going back, so we're excited to be able to go up here and go to church with these guys. Today, 15.7, super fun. And now, 10 minutes later, it's the last. Can't really tell the moon. It's just coming up right on the water. That is so beautiful. So oh, yeah. good. He has the it, I think it, oh, sorry. That was a horrible night's sleep. It, uh, about midnight, it started to be so rocky here. Can't really tell, but uh, we're stoked to get moving again. We're uh, going about 30 miles over to Messina. And Zach's already up, ready to catch fish. Zach, you can't f catch fish. Huh? You can't catch fish. Yeah, I can. No. Nope. I told you I can't. We're in the Mediterranean Sea. Come on, Actually, we're in the Ionian Sea. I've tried everything with these guys. Yep, they don't eat food. It's honestly so, so, so sad about the fishing. When I, the last port uh, a bit ago, we were, when we were in Greece, seeing those fishermen come in with, with their nets where the turtles were, you know, they, they just, pull in everything anything and most of it's way too small to eat and they just uh, toss it in the ocean kill them all and it's super sad i know they've lived off that forever but uh now there's no fish and it's it's a huge problem and it's made me think twice about ordering any seafood anywhere i go and I actually, uh, anyway, it's super sad, sad, sad. This gives you a little perspective on the. So right behind me here, it's uh, Messina Strait. So we are gonna go up through this. Uh, this is Etna, Volcano Etna, and Sicily. We just saw a pot of dolphins out here, and so we turned around so we could uh, go play with them. Oh yeah! There's some more coming. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh 
so the kids keep saying, they're right here, they're right here, they're swimming all around them underneath the water. All right, who had the best experience? Me, 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 me. What did you see, Emmer? When I was, I was underwater for a while, just swimming with them the entire time. Were you swimming or sea bobbing? Sea bobbing. What about you guys? You I got thought, right up next to them. My favorite was. And there, right under, or right over them too. There were two underneath me, and they kept going side to side underneath me, and my leg like, is so like cool. Yeah, it was That's so cool. Cool. Mine was, so I was on the sea bob, and then I was looking around and I saw a baby, and a, so baby was here and a mama was here, and it both jumped up at the same time, cool. and they were going separate ways. Ah, oh, that's so fun. Good detour, Zach. It was the best detour of our lives. Got some more dolphins. There's tuna jumping all over the place. Sleep. It's midnight and all of a sudden that just anyway. That was exciting. <laughs> Glad we stopped in Messina for a day. Tomorrow we're going to Stromboli to check that out and um, hopefully go see the volcano. Good night. That's all from uh, the current in the Messina Strait. We're going 11 knots. Really, I mean, if uh, without with the just the motors on, we typically typically go about seven, seven and a half, eight knots. Uh, but with this current, it's making us go eleven. Yesterday, we were only going four when we should have been going eight. So it's it's uh, scary how crazy some currents get all around the world. Uh, one of our favorite is the uh, Turnigan Arm up in Alaska. And to be able, it's just outside of Anchorage, but uh, when the uh, current, when the tide changes, the current comes in and people surf it twice a day. And it's, it's nuts. It's uh, one of the scariest things I can't imagine getting trapped on the back side of it in a boat. We, I, there's no way we could outrun it in, in our boat. But anyway, lots of fun. Um, this, uh, this area has lots of, there's tons of uh, guys out fishing for tuna. And, and my video is not good of it, but I took some video yesterday of them jumping uh, all over the place and we still can't catch any. Uh, maybe it's a personal problem. Maybe we're the problem. So uh, another really cool thing, uh, earlier on when we passed through here in March, May, May um, we saw boats uh, taking out swordfish and they have these big old booms out the front and they actually harpoon them, which uh, was kind of interesting to learn about. So we, we haven't seen any this time through, so it's probably just a seasonal thing. We're on our way to Stromboli. We're almost there, probably like 45 more minutes. So there's a mooring field on the east side of it. And um, anyway, we called ahead, got a mooring ball. So we'll just stay here tonight. We might leave late tonight to head to Palmelo, uh, Sicily. We're not sure, I'm not sure yet. So I'll figure that out later tonight. But. Hopefully, apparently at night you can see the uh, uh, lava getting blasted out of the volcano. So we're super pumped uh, to be here. We, I guess it was in January, we went to Hawaii on the big island and were able to see the lava flows there, which was just incredible. It's insane to see uh, power, I guess, behind it. So we're excited to be able to see this.
Our tour guide. Hi. Getting a tour around Stromboli. Very excited. Had a pretty awesome night uh, watching Stromboli erupt. Now we're he heading over to the west side of uh, yeah, Sicily, and we have like I think 50, about 50 more miles to go. We just went through the night because there's no wind, and anyway, pretty open sea. So we we just decided to take off, and so we could get there um, earlier today. So. It's been pretty uneventful. Beautiful sunrise. 